Captain on the bridge. All right, Captains, we are back on the bridge. And today, yes, we got the big to go over. The Star Trek Online official Twitter feed. So on screen. Yes, Captains, before we get into this video, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, subscribe here to the YouTube bridge as we're always on the lookout for like-minded Captains where we can share our love, our passion for Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. And with that said, here we go. Now, Captains, huge shout out first to, of course, Aid Gaming Federation. He sent us a message about this, but also we found this video on Star Trek Online, the Twitter feeds. So it's the new trailer for the upcoming Strange New Worlds Season 2. Yes, yes! Captain, do you know that we love Strange New Worlds and it kind of really brought us back into Star Trek. And I feel like it brought back the whole form of what I grew up with in terms of the format they presented. But anyways, what we're going to do in this video is go over the trailer. We're going to watch it. We're going to watch the trailer and then actually break it down, give my ECs, thoughts, of course, on it, and then give our conclusions. Now, I will play the actual clip. If I have to edit it out, Captains, it will be edited out, but I will link this in the description below for you Captains to watch on your own if I have to edit it out. So here we go. Oh, yes, yes, Captain, that is awesome. Ooh, there was a lot there. Okay, Captain, let's go over this again. If I have to cut that whole part out, it will be there in the Star Trek Online Twitter feeds, and I'll link this below. But there are some nuggets here that we saw here that we won, of course, go over. But oh, my dear Lord, Whew, this, this, this look good, especially the shot of the Enterprise. Look at her. Oh, she looks so good. Hold on. There you go. She looks so good. I think it's what we're going to use for our thumbnail. But wow. Again, I wasn't. I know I'm going to get some flack for this. I wasn't the hugest fan of the original Connie. You guys, that, that's not what I grew up with. But this reimagined version is beautiful. The only thing I wish they would have done is just kept the pylon straight as opposed to the swept back look. But again, that is just a little minor Thing of ours here so the, whew, I'm, I'm glad we're gonna see her and again they don't seem like they didn't really change much here in terms of uniforms still the same the bridge still looks pretty good and again a huge emphasis on i love how i think this is the new actress here that will be joining in which is going to be hammer's replacement i believe the chief of engineer right here so that's pretty cool hopefully she'll add another layer there of comedic layer that star trek Stranger Worlds already had, to be honest with you, but I love the music. I love the, the, the vibe of this. The music was very light, and of course we have Ortegas there doing her little pilot thing there and having some, I love <laughs> I love the controls here that showing. It literally looks like a HUD there that you would see on a game. That'd be pretty cool. And she did this. I'm not sure if this is part of the same scene or not, but you can see the Enterprise firing some beams there, and then she's doing a what we call in Star Trek Online rock and roll maneuver while she's firing that looks cool and of course there she's just having fun again i love i love her joy i've always loved her joy her at the at the helm there but she does this twisty maneuver there again i'm not sure if that's part of the same scene but it can be some really good things going on here again same uniforms same pike hair now this i'm not sure if this was a thing here or if this was a play or something going on here with Chapel and Mbenga, but I'm glad to see them back, of course. And this is the Gorn here. Now, if we look at this particular scene, that's a damaged, I'm not sure if that's a damaged Enterprise or another damaged Constitution class starship, but you see the Gorn there in the back. I caught that little bit and was looking at that and was like, dang, what happened here? So it could be some sort of battle that they're responding to distress call to, for another ship it's not uncommon for us to see the same ship used because they did the same last season but that, i thought that was really interesting there and of course we get james t kirk back here and i'm not sure if this is a flirty moment between laon there and kirk but looks like una called it out there and oh and i love how una was narrating this this was awesome part of this at least 
And it starts June 15. Captain, that can't come any sooner. Yes, yes. Woo. Excited. I'm excited for that. And it's funny. I'm, we're recording this event night of the last episode of Picard season three. So as one ends, another will start. And we're super, super excited about that. Definitely. And we get a little bit more action here from the shuttle, which is kind of one of my favorite designs here from Strange New Worlds. And we get some Klingons here. They look like Klingons. Yes, they look like Klingons. And they're looking pretty normal, you know, kind of just, just goldified, I guess, uniforms. I'm not sure if that's going to be playing any significance, but we see Spock here doing his thing kind of cheering doing some cheers with them probably blood wine obviously so that's pretty cool there of course and i'm not sure if this is an asteroid or something but the enterprise still looking mighty fine there and we get this scene this is pretty cool i think that was chapel there I believe ortegas I'm not sure and then um uhura i think possibly so leave your world behind Little pike action there, and we have Laon here doing some boxing moves here, training with someone. I can't really make out who that is, but she's doing some training. But you can see some batlets there on the wall. So it's, uh, I'm not sure if this is her room and or it seems like this is going to be on the Enterprise. And we have Una now. This seems familiar, not familiar, but if we remember, captains. From the first season, Una was talking about how her parents, I believe, or her grandparents, parents or parents, grandparents, cr did, crashed in a shuttle accident. So I think she's going to get a flashback moment here. And of course, an episode sort of dedicated to her. If I'm not mistaken, that looks like in Australia right there. Look at the uh, structure there in the back there. So we're going to get a... And that, this is what I loved about Strange New Worlds was the character-centric episodes. They were episodic, but then there were some themes that would carry it throughout the season, and I totally loved and enjoyed that. And can't wait. See some oh, and you know what? I'm wondering if we're gonna get some Mbanga action in terms of, of course, knowing that his daughter now is not with him. Let's see, hopefully. And I and I did enjoy this character a lot. So And that that looks like the Shepherd's ship, if I'm not mistaken, there from season one. Again, the Enterprise there just doing a little flyby. This reminds me of the Cal and Timeline movie cameras that they were using there. That action to kind of stretch out the Enterprise. Oof. La love. I'm so, so glad Chapel's back. I mean, I love, love the duo. Love Chapel. Chapel was one of the standout characters from Strange New World Season 1. And of course, we still have these flirty moments with Chapel and Spock. Little shittle accent action there. Oof! Look at the look at the peak on that hair. Just peak, <clears throat> peak performance. Again, some Gorn action here. Look at that. Definitely some Gorn action again. They're gonna make the Gorn. And this is the starbase there with the pods there coming out. That's I didn't realize what this, I thought it was the ship at first, but no, it's the starbase. And that's the Enterprise there flying upwards and. Ortegas, okay, this was so... <laughs> I did say I, I had trouble connecting with this version of Spock. And this this made me chuckle. So I'll, I'm hoping a little bit more connection there with this Spock. And he's like, I would like to make the ship go now. That, that That's just awesome. So again, little lighthearted moments there. Everyone's laughing. And there we go. Cannot wait. Cannot wait for this to... Star and Captains, definitely what we will be doing is covering this just like we did with Star Trek Picard and with Season 1. It's because we'd love to share, like I said, our passion, our love there. And Strange New Worlds definitely has been something that has brought us back into the Star Trek love. Not that I fell out of love, but just being able to have this renewed spark interest and investment in Star Trek has just made things is so much better for me really to be honest as a star trek fan so there captain like the video comment below let us know what you thought oh there's one thing i missed here there was a d7 here wasn't there there was a d7 let's see if we can find that here there was a d7 here is it near the end here i think i missed it as we were going here 
All right, let's see if we can find it. There it is. We missed it. There's the D7 from Strange New World. So that's looking pretty mean. That's looking pretty mean. Of course, I think we did see this version of it in the Discovery when they came to the rescue of the Discovery and Enterprise. So we're going to see some Klingons. And I'm not sure if this is going to be a battle between them because we did see Spock, of course, drink some blood wine. But glad we're going to see the D7 there and maybe maybe some pew pew action for sure more of that and the one thing that was funny here actually was this scene here now there was a leak actually last year about this scene of kirk and la on there on the streets there which is a leak of of course kirk and so it seems like there's going to be time travel shenanigans or some sort of holographic simulation holodeck simulation who knows so something interesting to look out for and it seems like these two will have a storyline onto themselves here so again something that we missed there at the end but regardless we're just super excited glad that we're going to get strange new worlds and that won't be too much of a gap between picard and the start of this so again captains let us know what you saw in this video let us know what you're looking forward to and of course subscribe here to youtube bridge and we will leave it on this note live long and prosper